ancient Egypt provides the foundation for much of alternative history research. The monumental architecture, writing system, sculpture, art, and religion have been a seductive point of attraction for modern people for centuries. Some of the mysteries surrounding the ancient Egyptians are so entrenched in the scientific community that there are many who have proposed, perhaps in a risky way, that extraterrestrial presence was responsible of the enigmas of Egyptian culture. From the ancient city of Heliopolis, the city of the sun, today there is practically nothing left. Some vestiges can be seen next to the Madareya area, in Cairo. There is no trace of the original temple but all the ancient texts speak of it as the place where the sacred Benban was housed, the primitive stone from which life arose according to the Heliopolitan cosmogony. Texts like Shabaka stone preserved in the British Museum in London, relate that before the universe existed, there was a space and time that even memories could not reach. In that deep darkness, the most absolute nothing, the nun, non-being, floated in an ocean of inert water. At a certain moment, from the waters of that unfathomable void, the primitive hill emerged, a pyramidal hill of black color. At its apex emerged the solar god Adam, the first creator god, the same who gave life to all the celestial gods who came to earth at the beginning of time. According to the cosmogony of Heliopolis, the Benben -Ben stone was that primitive hill that served as support for the solar disk. In the city of Heliopolis itself, the Benben -Ben mansion was built, a place where Heliopolitan priests jealously preserved the relic of this primitive hill, symbol of the petrified creator semen of the god Adam. Again, for many researchers the stone Benben -Ben would not be anything other than a meteorite, a stone fallen from the sky in prehistory and that dramatically changed the way of believing and thinking of the ancient Egyptians. What was the form and material from which this enigmatic primitive relic was made? We ignore it because we do not have any description or the stone itself. However, the descriptions of the text seem to indicate that it may have been a pyramid-shaped meteorite fragment, a sign of the gods. This strange pyramidal element whose true meaning we can only guess, is also related to the pyramid ion, the vertex that topped the pyramids and also the obelisks, solar icons by Antonomasia. Imhotep, wise architect and god in the first thousands of years before our era, happens to be the ideologist and creator of the pyramidal form. To his wit is the construction of the first pyramid in history, that of Pharaoh Zoser in the plateau of Saqqara, over 3,000 years before Christ he created that spectacular stairway to the sky that connected the deceased king with his stellar ancestors. If we review the charges he made in life, we will find one especially singular. Imhotep held the position of inspector of everything that heaven brings and it is said that his extraordinary knowledge in astronomy and in all kinds of sciences came from a mysterious book of celestial origin. Once again we find that link with the extraterrestrial world in the Egyptian literature of the first dynasties and that surely bring us closer to the world of meteorites. We found this relationship from the first dynasties. To 15 km to the south of Heliopolis, in a location known like Abu Ghurab, was the old complex of solar temples of the kings of the fifth dynasty. Today there are only remnants of two of them, the Yuzurkov and the Nyasur. These were open structures in whose courtyards, behind an altar to sacrifice animals, a huge obelisk was erected in. The structure of the complex was similar to that of a pyramidal complex. The only thing that changed was the pyramid, replaced in the case of Abu Ghurab by a thick and squat obelisk. Today of all this complex there are only a few ruins, enough for archaeologists to have an idea of the importance of the place and its ancient meaning.